Hello guys, welcome to another video of Hypixel Skyblock. Today I'll be telling you everything you need to know about how to make money, especially in the early game and in the mid game of Hypixel Skyblock. So as you know, I have made two videos about the profits earned from Savan Packmaster as well as Tarantula Brutefather. However, However, many of my viewers have told me that they are unable to solo these T3 Brute Fathers and these T3 Savans since they are still stuck in the mid game and they have like Ender Armor or like um, they have a Dragon Set but then, but then they lack a strong weapon. So for that case, if you are one of those people who are unable to deal with T3 Tarantulas or T3 Savan Packmasters consistently, I will highly suggest for you guys to watch this video. However, if you guys are able to solo tier 3 Tarantulas and solo tier 3 Savan Packmasters, go ahead and watch the two videos I have placed in the description down below because those two earn you more profits per hour. But then, however, they have higher requirements. For example, requiring at least dragon armor along with an aspect of the dragons, for example. However, um, the methods showcased in today's video, their, their requirements range from anyone who just literally started on Hypixel Skyblock 10 minutes ago to like having the requirement of at least having Ender Armor with like a Raider's Axe. So it's generally very early to mid game. So basically anyone can do these methods and then if you are in these categories of players who are like stuck in the mid game and then you want to get out of it to get more money, you should continue watching this video as today I will tell you the four good ways in order to make money starting from the easiest way to make money with the lowest requirement and with that let's get on to the video so for the first method i will be presenting today we will be for players who just generally started skyblock and by that i mean players who just started like 10 minutes ago that kind of thing so first and foremost what do you want to do when you first enter the game it is very simple. First and foremost, you want to get yourself Ender Armor. One Ender Armor piece sells for around 10,000 coins to 20,000 coins on the auction house, depending on whether they are reforged into godly or not reforged to godly and etc. So each armor piece range between 10k to 20k, with around Ender Armor which, is prop which are reforged to godly will hover around the 20 to 25k mark. So, if you want to get a full set of godly ender armor to buy from the AH, which I highly suggest for you to just buy the godly reforged ender armor, because you are not going to be that lucky to get godly within 10 tries. Trust me, it's not worth it. Just pay up the 25k just to get the godly armor piece. So, in general, a full set of godly ender armor will cost you around 80k to around 100k. So you want to get that godly ender armor first. What do you do? So as you can see in the video here, I am basically beating up wheat. Very simple. Just go to the farm on the left hand on, on the right hand side of spawn and just go grind wheat. Get a harvesting five hole and just keep grinding wheat because wheat does give you a decent amount of coins. Now I know I know that you can set up a pumpkin farm to make more money, but to be honest, the amount of dirt you need to set up for a pumpkin farm is actually very expensive. It's actually more than what a beginner can afford. And yes, you can start off with a small pumpkin farm, but I wouldn't suggest doing pumpkins because you will only need it for that much of the time. And I'm pretty sure you're going to spend more time building the pumpkin farm than actually using it. But granted, if you want to use the farmer's boots, you can try to do to farming first and do like make a pumpkin farm if you really want but if not if you just want to jump start the game and just get as fast as you can as far as you can in the shortest time just do what i'm doing in the video right now by just grinding wheat because grinding wheat which i will show you after around five minutes of me like chopping wheat i get an estimated 4.8k to around 6,000 coins worth of wheat so 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 that so basically the so basically the run that I recorded this time round was not a perfect run because it's, because as you can see towards the end, I was basically competing with someone else for wheat, so it lowered my profits to around four thousand eight hundred coins per every five minutes. Yeah, so basically with this method, you can make around five thousand coins per five minutes very easily. So basically you will make around 60,000 coins per hour. So you just need to do this for around one and a half hours and you can get your ender set and afterwards you can go on to grind combat levels in the 
in the mines or etc before moving on to the end. So this method is only for those who begin who has just begun Skyblock and are interested in speeding up their progress as soon as possible. So now, the second method I will be introducing to you guys would be called the Raiders X and Enderman strategy. So basically what you want to do after you finally get your Ender armor after punching wheat for around one and a half hours, you will also want to punch wheat or to grind pumpkins until you finally get a Raiders X. Yes, you can still do this with an aspect of the end, however, it will not be as effective as using a Raiders X. The reason why is because the Raiders X gives you an additional 20 coins per kill. Yes, I know it has been nerfed from epic to rare, and the coins nerfed from 25 coins per monster kill to around 20 coins per monster kill. However, despite that, the Raiders X is still stronger than an aspect of the end. So, hence, I will highly suggest for you guys to buy the Raiders X first and grind. And then afterwards use this strategy to grind the money to buy an aspect of the end. The reason why you still want to have an aspect of the end is because the aspect of the end is just really really useful for a lot of purposes, especially even in the end game. Everyone uses its ability. You you don't need to buy an enchanted aspect of the end after you get this strategy down. Perhaps just buy a normal aspect of the end. To help you with your transportation and, and to help you get from place to place a bit faster lah. Because honestly, aspect of the answer is just really useful. So yeah, since I went off topic a bit, as you can see in the video right now, I am just wearing a young armor set with like a Raiders X and just stabbing Enderman. So in this clip, I recorded myself of stabbing Enderman for around five minutes, and basically I got around and basically I got around twenty thousand coins per five minutes. So basically around 1 hour, you will earn around 240,000 coins per hour, which is a lot better than wheat farming. So basically you want to use the wheat farming method I did earlier to grind out the coins to get your ender armor and as well as to get your raider's axe, which I think is 175,000 coins. So basically you want to do that and afterwards you want to enchant the Raiders X, your first strike 4, critical 5, sharpness 5 and all of those nice enchants to boost your damage as well as to get more talismans to boost your damage even more until you finally can get base 4500 crit damage. And also on top of that, it would be recommended for you to have a crit chance of 70% to 80%. If, if you don't have that high of a crit chance, it's still fine if you can brew critical potions but yeah, it's more it's kind of an inconvenience if you don't have critical chance up up to a relatively high amount of at least 70% to do this strategy. But nonetheless, it's still very good. And on top of the base 240,000 coins per hour you will make from this strategy, with Skyblock's 0.7.5 update, it made it so that Enderman of the highest of the top floor has, has the highest chance of dropping Ender armor pieces. And the armor pieces sell to the merchant for around 10,000 coins each. And basically, the basically the top floor endermen have, have a drop chance of 1 upon 1,000 to drop an ender armor piece. So yeah, I know the drop chance is still extremely low, but despite that, you will be killing around a few hundred endermen per hour, or, 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 or even 1 to 2,000 endermen per hour. So basically, the drop chance of 0.1% isn't really going to be that big of a deal. So yeah, if you get Ender Armor, count yourself lucky, add the 10,000 coins to your hourly bonus, I guess. But yeah, you want to use this strategy, and like, and like this is a strategy I love the most at the moment, because it gives you quite a bit of profits per hour. So now, I will be sharing with you my third money-making strategy method. Basically, the generic Super Compactor 3000 strategy. Now, as you can see in the video here, the requirements for this are just really obvious. First, you need a stonk pickaxe, which you can buy from the end merchant at 499,999 coins. So yeah, you require to put in a hefty amount of investment into a stonk pickaxe with only one purpose to mine cobblestone. So yeah, on top of that, you will also require to get yourself a miner's outfit, which is only 24 enchanted cobblestone. That isn't very hard to grind out without even the stonk pickaxe. So yeah, don't worry too much about it. And in fact, in fact, you can buy 24 stacks of enchanted cobblestone just straight from the merchant if you're desperate for it anyways. So on top of that, you will also be required to make a cobble generator. 
So as you can see with the cobble generator I'm using in my video, this is the best type of cobble gen that you should try to make. And um, I will put the link in the description into how to actually build this type of cobble gens if you guys still don't know how to. So check out the link in the description if you would like to learn how to build these types of cobble gen. So basically I make around one stack of enchanted cobblestone around every eight minutes. So basically every so basically around every hour I will make around a super compactor 3000. Now I know some people have said that they earn more and 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 I, and I guess and I guess my cobble generator is just not the most effective or basically like my mining strategy is not the most effective as well. So yeah, some people say that they can make one super compactor every 40 minutes. So yeah, whether it be making super compactors once every hour or once every 40 minutes, we can safely assume that the amount of profits you earn per hour from this will be around 500,000 coins. So yes, this strategy is much better than the Enderman and the so yeah, this strategy is much better than the Enderman and the Raiders X strategy. But then, however, it comes at a cost because you require to buy a Stonk Pickaxe for 500,000 coins, which you have to grind wheat for that to get one pickaxe just to mine cobblestone. So yeah, I guess it's not bad if let's say you are tired of the end and like you would like to grind cobblestone instead and get more profits. However, there is one benefit of grinding the strategy with the Raiders X and the Enderman in the end is that you will get more combat EXP. So why is combat EXP good? Well, because combat EXP gives you plus 1% crit chance and plus 4% damage to mobs every single level. So basically that makes combat worth more, much more grinding for as compared to mining. Because, because the mining skill only gives you an additional 2 defense per level and only 1 defense per level early on. So it's just not worth it to grind cobblestone for the mining stats. So yeah, you get more coins but at the cost of you requiring to buy a pickaxe which you will never use outside of cobblestone mining and that um, you will also basically not be leveling up your combat skill which is very useful later on in the game when you're grinding out slayers or grinding dragons because being able to do extra damage to mobs is a pretty big deal. So now, moving on to the final money-making strategy. This money-making strategy is actually really simple. It is just buying the materials and selling it back to the auction house. Yes, this is the most boring... This is the most boring money-making method, and I know it's somewhat popular outside, but I need to insist to say this, because this money-making method is still very, very good. Basically, the method I showcased in this video was the generic buying hot potato books and just selling them on the auction. So, I didn't sell the hot potato book, but I can tell you how quickly it is to buy one hot potato book or um, 2.5 stacks of enchanted potatoes or one enchanted baked potato. It would actually only cost you specifically 59,733.3 coins to buy the hot potato book. Now, when you sell it on auction, especially during peak times, they will go up to 90,000 coins, or if you're lucky, around 100,000 coins. Which means that you are guaranteed 25,000 to 30... So basically, you're guaranteed at least 25,000 to 40,000 coins worth of profits. And, 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 and as I did this video, I, I actually bought one enchanted baked potato, in this video for, for only around 4 minutes and a half. So basically, I can make a lot of hot potato books per hour, basically around 13 hot potato books per hour, which means since each hot potato book would on average give me around 30,000 coins of profit, I will get around I will get around 400,000 coins of profits per hour. So this is not bad of a profit making machine and it is one of the best profit making machines in my opinion because um, people in Skyblock are lazy and they don't want to buy their own hot potato books and generally I am also a victim of this laziness so I just buy it off the auction house. 
So yeah, you can abuse the laziness of our generic human beings and just buy these hot potato books for everyone and you will get around 400,000 coins per hour. Now, I know that there are people even more efficient than me and like they are super efficient in their clicks and they are super speedy in that. Props to them because honestly, I cannot keep this speed up for more than an hour. But if you can keep my speed up at around 1 enchanted baked potato for every 4.5 minutes, you can make around 400,000 coins per hour. So basically, the requirements for this strategy just only requires you to have 60,000 coins in our bank. So once you have 60, so once you have 60,000 coins in our bank, you can start doing this strategy. Now, this strategy has the lowest investment and the lowest cost. And, and I know that. However, there is a risk to using this strategy. The reason why this strategy is not as recommended by me as compared to the Raiders X strategy is number one because number one because of the high opportunity cost. So basically, when you are buying these hot potato books, yes, you are getting more money than the Raiders X strategy, but on the other hand, you are not leveling up any of your stats, not mining stats, not combat stats. And it is just opportunity cost of wasted time. Because basically while people are grinding up their combat stats, you are buying potatoes for more money. And since money cannot be translated into combat XP or any skill XP, you will have to grind the combat XP by yourself on a later date. So basically, if you intend to grind slayers, or even more importantly, dragons, you need to have a high combat level, preferably, uh, prefer preferably above level 25. And thus, it, and thus, it would be best to start grinding early on. And thus, that's why I recommend the zealot, and, and that's why I recommend the Raiders X strategy that I presented in this video, because number one, it helps you grind towards the late game, slowly but surely. Yes, you get... You, yes, you get around half half the profits as compared to this strategy, but on the bright side, you are getting a lot of combat EXP, and then yes, you are losing profits, but at least in the future, you need not specifically grind for combat EXP just to fight dragons. And with that, that and with that, those are the four strategies I have to present today.